Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. You know, as I travel the country going to auctions, stopping in, visiting, filming with farm equipment dealers and also farm equipment manufacturers, boy, I run into some interesting stories. Uh, I got to share one with you here about a company called Praxidine. Uh, it's from Oakland, Iowa, western part of the state. Uh, Praxidine makes the uh, Mixmate chemical mixing system, you know, with a portable ag chemical mixing system solution. That's a lot of buzz around this product. Uh, now it's very interesting how the company got its start. So the company Praxidine is owned by Doug and Kathy Applegate from Oakland, Iowa, and this is a picture actually from the 2005 Iowa State Fair, and that's the Applegate's sons, Brent on the left and Luke on the right. Now they entered uh, this seed tender they made back in the 2000 Iowa State Fair in the uh, egg, egg Mechanic Division uh, for the FFA competition. Uh, Brent built the frame and hydraulic system and Luke built the electronics and computer system. And the computer uh, would track the inventory of the seed in each box and would meter out the seed by the, by the acre, by the, by the bag, or by pounds. And this was the genesis, the start of what became uh, the Mixmate chemical mixing system and Praxidine company. And recently I caught up with Doug and Kathy Applegate uh, at a farm show and they filled me in on the company. Hey folks, Machinery Pete here in Louisville at the 2018 National Farm Machinery Show. Uh, come down for years, I tell you, it's, it's great to learn about new companies doing innovative things. And we got some exciting news here from the folks at Praxidine out of Oakland, Iowa, and we are here with Doug and Kathy uh, Applegate, and you guys are the are the owners we of are, the company, along with our sons, which are the engineers. And this, your two sons' names are Brent and Luke. Brent and Luke. Yes. And folks, what they put out it is very cool, award-winning. We'll talk about that in a minute. But a portable chemical mixing system here. And I tell you what, I've been watching for about a half hour. Your farmers walking by and really interested in the product. Uh, why don't you tell us, Doug, about Praxidine? Sure. About, uh, mix me. Sure, so this kind of started as a family project, an FFA project originally by our sons okay. as a seed tender. And um, one of the things we always wanted on our farm was some better ways to measure chemicals and do the record keeping. Sure. And the seed tender evolved. It started with the computer controlled seed tender that tracked the inventory and would measure the seed out. It evolved into this liquid handling system yeah. and uh, actually is not limited to liquid even. When you said seed tender, your boys built a seed tender? Yes. So Back when was that? Uh, 2005. Okay. So it got exhibited at the Iowa State Fair. Our oldest son was a freshman in college. Uh, our younger son was um, a junior in high school, I believe. Okay. So our older son did the frame and the hydraulic drive system. Our younger son did the electrical and the computer system. Okay. And uh, it was very nice to have those kind of records just accumulated sure. in the automation. Okay. Well, that got us to thinking about spraying, and it, one thing led to another, and here we are today. You said got us thinking. Now, Kathy, your husband and your boys, when they get thinking, things happen, it sounds like. Yes. Driving around in a pickup is the best way to brainstorm. And so, usually, Doug would ask the boys, we need to be able to do something more efficiently on the farm. And before I knew it, the conversation led to designing or brainstorming about building the next piece of equipment yeah. that would make farming safer and more efficient. Yeah. So Doug, pick us up. We started talking about it with the boys. And again, the boy is Luke and... Luke and Brent. Luke and Brent. Brent okay. is the oldest. And they went Brent to I Luke. Iowa State Engineer? They did. They went to Iowa State, earned their ag engineering degrees. Okay. Worked in industry for a while, so they had some very good experience. Kinsey, Kloss, and Kuhn were wow. the companies. Very, cool. uh, very, very good experience. And then farming was a calling to them. Sure. So they came back to the farm, but we all love the engineering. So okay. it's a natural thing to do engineering and farming at our place. And you guys still farm? We do. Oh, yes. We do. Okay. Very cool. We do. So, so you got uh, talking about this new solution. Yeah. So... When we're 
brainstorming is very dynamic. Mm -hmm. So we wanted this chemical blending system and uh, when you first think about chemical blending, it seems pretty simple at the front, but yeah. when you actually have a computer do this, it gets very complex as far as the computer side, and yet we have still built a system that is very easy to use, yeah. which is a huge thing. So how long did it take to come out with your mixed-made solution? So Brent started with development, prototypes, about eight years ago, yeah. and it's been almost a year, not quite a year since the sales started. So about seven years of seven development years. time. So that's farmer DNA yeah. process, looking for a better way. And now, exciting news, uh, this was just announced, but Praxidine, you guys won a big award with ASABE. Yes. Is it the, uh, oh, here it is, folks, here's the award. For mix made for outstanding innovations. Product or systems technology, and you uh, just got the order. Was it yesterday, guys? It was yesterday. Pretty so exciting. it's for innovation presented by the ag engineering and biosystems engineering people, and uh, not only innovation but movement towards the advancement of agriculture. So um, one of the things that's really unique about our system is the record keeping system, and so. Uh, we have a cloud connection. We're starting on data integration with other systems. Okay. So if you think about it, in your farm record keeping system, you would have an inventory, you would have work orders to say, I want to spray this field with this product this spring. And so when it comes time to do it, you would just select that work order. It would create the blends and report the records back to an information system. So those information systems will be your sprayer. So this system will, in time, we're not doing this today, but the wheels are turning for it. Yep. This information from the actual mix would go to your sprayer and be recorded as an as-applied file. It'll also go to your farm management system to know sure. that you've done the work, show your inventory changes. It'll go to accounting so that you'll know your cost per acre on your farm. All of these things happen automatically, and the trigger point is when you identify the products and measure them through a mixed bean system. So there's a lot of automation that can happen just because you're using a system that is connected. Okay. Well, Doug, let's talk about mixed bean a little bit here. Why don't you just walk us through the product? And uh, okay, okay. You know, you've got a great video, folks. If you're at the show. Swing by here in the North uh, Hall and visit uh, 4724. 4724. Uh, very cool and a great video. But, uh, walk us through uh, sure. what's made here, Doug. So we have our inductor and it has a scale built in and we can measure by weight. And so you can just take a jug and start pouring. You get a bar graph on your screen that prompts you how much product to pour. And when you're doing full jugs or you're going to completely empty the jug, if you've got a lot of jugs to do, we can connect air to the system to assist the process. Okay. So you would take a full jug, put it right over the rinse nozzle, it will blow air into that jug and empty the jug in about two seconds. The scale will be measuring the water, or measuring the chemical coming out of the jug. When the jug is empty, it will record the weight of the chemical and then kick on the rinse. So it will go from uh, draining the jug to weighing the chemical, to rinsing all in one quick process, about 12 seconds to process a jug. And another unique feature about that is two and a half gallon jugs don't always measure out two and a half gallons because of factors of density variation and jug fill and assorted things. We reconcile your records to two and a half gallons on a full jug. Well, I'm, uh, as I'm listening, I'm hearing all kinds of efficiencies gained here. It is, it uh, is. I noticed on your from your signage here, you, you're talking about boosting sprayer productivity by 30%. So, uh, talk about that. Sure. So, the Sprayers 101 website have a calculator to calculate field efficiency of sprayers. It's very detailed. And um, they had done some calculations, and, and the example that they shared with me if you could save 10 minutes of loading time with your sprayer, it boosted the productivity of the sprayer by 30%. 
So you, you had a, a recent customer in Illinois. Uh, that was a kind of a dynamic example. It, it is. That. It's kind of fun because we had a have a customer that uh, wanted to fill his 1,400 gallons per year very quickly. Sure. So he wanted bigger flow meters, bigger valves to pump the chemicals. He was able to pump four bulk chemicals into his sprayer, 120 gallons of total material, in 35 seconds. So he is liking MixMate. Yeah, yeah. He actually said, MixMate is so fast, it's scary. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you, when you change the game, that's, uh, that's a good place to be. Now, again, Kathy, why don't you talk about this? Uh, so you guys just came to the market like last spring, yes. actually selling yes. after quite a process. but. I understand you actually have a waiting list of, for yes. people to get product now? Yes, they've been watching the development. We've been going to trade shows for several years, which has been so, such a blessing. Now, I and find that interesting. You didn't have anything to sell yet. Right. But you still went to the shows. Yes. Just talking to people, listening. Because we have learned so much. Right. Aerial applicators, co-ops, farmers of all sizes, and We've learned that each person, I mean, we already knew this because each farmer likes to do what they like, you know, right. in their own way. Sure. But it's helped us develop a system that's flexible. And, uh, and uh, again, you were saying sales so far here in 2018 have been pretty strong. Excellent. Excellent. Very, oh, that is good. very pleasant. Very nice start. To I'm going to jump ahead a little bit here, but if folks are interested, yes. so where, where do they go? So if you go to praxidine.com, www.praxidine.com, okay. and we've got some nice videos on the website. You'll see testimonials. You'll see the system working. And then there's contact us. Put your okay. name in, and you'll get an email or a call from me. And so you are selling direct? Yes. You're, will you have dealers eventually, or do you have some we, now? We have some dealers now. Uh, expanding our dealer network. Sure. Ultimately, dealers will give you the best service because they're local. Sure. sure. And uh, that's what we prefer. Now, Kathy, I got to ask you about the name Praxidine. Uh, and again, this is so cool, folks. Uh, American farm family here. You guys farm, two boys. They were rocking FFA and. And 4H. And 4H. And uh, award winning projects at the State Fair all along. And it's just. Tell us about what is Praxidine, what does that mean? Praxidine came about, well, you have to have a name for the business. Yep. You start sales, you got to have a business name. A name helps. A name helps. So, we decided to put two Greek words together. Praxis is an idea or theory put into practice. Okay. Dine is a measure of power. Yep. I grew up knowing that you put your tractor on a dine, you know, to measure the power of the tractor. So we put Praxis and Dine together, Praxidine, Practical Ideas, Powerful Solutions. Practical Ideas, Powerful Solutions. Folks, that is exactly what I'm hearing and uh, enjoying farmers asking questions about uh, mix made here. Very cool. And now we got to tie this together, American Farm Success Story here, folks. You guys grew up close to each other, like two miles away, but didn't know each other? We farmed four miles away from Farm. each other. Okay, but didn't go to the same high school? No. This is around Oakland, Iowa? Oakland and Shelby. Okay. And? We met at college. We met at college. Okay. Now, what was the, I understand international tractors are, are kind of close to the heart for you guys? So, we both had 1086 tractors in our families. Okay. And, um, that was one of our first conversations when we started to date. So, uh, yeah, and we had <laughs> That's awesome. two 1086 tractors on our wedding cake. <laughs> we did it in, in the wedding. In, on the wet on the groom's cake. Oh, on the groom's cake. So we had awesome. the two little small scale 1086 cool. tractors, and mine nice. had a little ribbon on it, and his had a little hat. Very cool. Well, guys, hey, congratulations for the award and bringing the product to market. Hey Doug, one thing I also want to talk about, I was noticing uh, behind you your mix made flow. You guys can customize exactly. your product. Why don't you talk about that? Yeah, so our system is very modular, so we can connect to multiple scales and flow meters. So like fertilizer blenders, uh, existing scales can be used. Uh, we can put a scale under an inductor for instance. So our inductor is fairly small. 
Some people um, may have a 100 gallon inductor and want to do bigger volumes in a stationary plant. Those are things we can do. Um, and so one of the things, especially geared for farmers or mobile, is we can measure from multiple flow meters at the same time. So that's how we get the speed of blending. So uh, this little system uh, would be placed on your tender truck or stationary, but it goes ahead of a chemical pump or so a transfer pump. And we can connect many bulks here. And so we can have multiple units. We can have four, six or eight, 10 different inputs and mix those simultaneously. So we use a little gear type flow meter. You don't have to recalibrate it. It's very accurate across a variety of chemicals, which simplifies things. And we can put a gear meter on every input or we can put one gear meter at the outlet to lower the cost. So a low cost entry point would be a single meter with multiple inputs. Not quite as fast, but it'll get the job done, all the record keeping, so you've got options with Praxidon? Many options. We can do mass flow meters if you really want a lot of accuracy. So scales, mass flow meters, gear meters. Options, folks. Talk to Doug and Kathy. Praxidine.com.